we have arrived to Baldazare, which is our next ski town on our Path Day ski towns. We just checked in to the Victoria Lodge. You can see the skiers over, over there. I guess I'll go outside. It was only like an hour away from um, Le Arcs, which is where we just were. We'll be here for a few days and checking out the skiing. We walked around town until we could get into our hotel. Now we are chilling with some tea. We're hoping to get some sun, but it looks like it's supposed to snow the whole week. So we'll see what we find. Oh my gosh, it won't <laughs> stop snowing. I can't believe this is approaching the end of April. Our first night in Val we walked to dinner before anyone walks to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently if you eat before seven, it's called uh, lunch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we're always the only people in the restaurant. Isn't very good for us like making friends, but Owen found us a hamburger joint. We've had a lot of French food and a lot of cheese and bread lately. So we so need to have a burger with more cheese. <laughs> Maybe bread. I'm not gonna get cheese on mine. This is a town center of Val d'Azur. Lots of shops, lots of restaurants, and it's lit up at night. But most things are closed by now. Welcome to Val d'Azur! What are you going to ski today? Everything crazy. We need to find the north facing high hill. Totally empty here. It is such a gorgeous day. No wind, but apparently there was wind yesterday because there's definitely a crust on top of the snow. So it's really hard. There's so much fresh snow but it's like a kind of hard crust on top it makes it really hard to ski because one of your skis like kind of gets stuck when you try to turn so for me it's a little bit difficult oh gosh it's kind of scary Ooh, i don't like this I seriously can't believe it. The sun decided to come back out and that is like the best news ever. We woke up this morning and it was total blue sky, which was unexpected because it was so cloudy yesterday, we couldn't see a thing. And the first day skiing somewhere, having a blue sky is a game changer, like 100%. So we just skied all day. It's like 3.30 and we were on this cat track going next to our hotel and i decided to come back to the hotel to just chill i think we've been out since nine so it was a long day um and owen was going to ski more which is great he can get like all his energy out at the end of the day and then we'll meet up for a drink after that i like don't even notice how much i need the sun during the winter until i see myself on video and i realize that i kind of look dead inside during the winter and then the summer comes and i like come back to life and i swear the sun does this for me maybe i need some vitamin d i don't know I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this now
there's this cool hole in the rock. We are at the other edge of Tinas and it is very flat light right now. But Owen had to climb up into the little hole in the rock. I can make it down. I've been having lots of struggles with this Europe terrain. I don't know if it's just being in a new place or, I mean, the light's hard, the snow is a little difficult, but yeah, <laughs> it's not my best skiing. It started out gray, everything was a little icy, and then as soon as we got over to Tignes, it went blue. Knew we were coming. Yeah. So now we're headed up to the highest point up on the glacier and see what we can see. Probably the other side of the mountain. <laughs> it is so far from here to where we were yesterday. I mean, it's two resorts. They are two separate resorts, right? They're two separate resorts, yes. But you can buy the pass for both of them together, which is what we have. Think. I don't know. Maybe they're all always together. I don't know. But anyway, we're like five miles from our hotel. <laughs> it is so crazy. But apparently we have to catch lifts back because there's not really a bus system that runs between them. Kind of the same as like the three valleys and the other ones that we had to get back for. So you cannot party too hard. But we thought it was going to be an opera day. It did not turn into an opera day, it turned into a beautiful day. But maybe. But we're not there's always opera after skiing. Yeah. Which is what that stands for. <laughs> so. Genius. So, whoever thought of that. We are up on the glacier. This is the base of the upper village of Tignes. Um, it's pretty chill. It's a small area. I took a break from skiing and wanted to check out what everybody is doing in the little village of Tignes. There's also a, well, it's a little bit lower than this, just maybe like a mile away, probably skiing. And then there's a lower village, but it looked really quiet and just had kind of family stuff. This is Dali. This is the area between Val d'Isere and Tignes. And it's actually pretty cool. That hotel is crazy. I had to make a pit stop for an espresso. Apparently, professional skiers can ski all day. I cannot. And so, here we are. A little solo break. Do you like more of our lunch? is really cute too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. this charcuterie setup at the restaurant. I need more of this in my life. They have a box. Little pictures. Okay. Totally good. I love the hot wine. Looks like. Should look like. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> finally found spring. <sighs> I just raced back from my ski day so that I could hit my spa appointment, which is just so lovely in this hotel. We've got a little hot tub down here and then a sauna as well. Last, the other day I did this with Owen, but he wanted to ski instead of come along today and oh my gosh i was not about to miss this because it's so relaxing and then they have tea 
and water over here. So I'm just gonna have this half hour of relax time to myself. I can't wait. some guy on a boat for 45 minutes. No, it was 65. Well, I fell asleep for 20. You did? So. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> we went to the film festival. And now we're at a pizza place next to our place. That's right. We had to come back and get a quick meal because we haven't really eaten much since uh, and it's the lunch. Ever. They said four minutes for a pizza. And we're going for pizzas for four minutes. <laughs> Our pizzas truly were ready in four minutes. It was amazing. Now it's eating time. However, the French do not slice their pizza. We can't figure out how we're supposed to eat it. But my take is that it's because there's like things they put in the middle and they don't want to crush the egg. Also never seen an egg on a pizza, but. Well, you order a pizza to go. You're gonna eat it in your room. I know, what if you eat it like in your car? How the heck am I gonna eat it? You're just gonna sit there and look at it. Why doesn't an entire egg on it? It's impossible.